Welcome to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster with John Kramer. I know that there are times in my life when I'm doing something and I'm just focused in on it and then the, the stillness occurs which I think is similar to what you talk about when you fall into the self. Yeah. But do you, you think do you think that all of us could fall into that self more often if we did a diary like you did? Well, this is what it is. <laughs> We all live, we all live uh, our lives and whatever it takes to discover what is true and what is not true. Um, so it might, not be, the- it might not be doing a diary. I find that in reading your diaries, I often fall into silence. I I just go swimming with your thoughts and they take me probably close to where you went in some sense. Uh, I really like your diaries and the way they sort of as I've said before, they turn into a song and into music. And the refrain comes back yes. over and over again, in a sense, to draw you deeper into whatever. Well, that is, um, I'm truly inspired hearing what you just said. Um, That is that is amazing, and and so very grateful that um, that that this is possible. That out of out of your reading the diary, that you that you have that um, that unfolding in your own awareness that leads you to to a place of peace and um, well, an awareness of of your own true self or the awareness of your true being. <clears throat> I'm I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm grateful um, and I'm inspired by what you say and and I'm amazed and, and uh, well thank you for letting me know. Well they're just amazing. I, I never I never think of them as being sticky in any sense at all. I think they simply open doors in some way mm-hmm. into consciousness, I guess, into the self. I guess why you're speaking what I as well see is that it opens the door in what is common to all of us. Um, and that is being. So although I share it as a personal experience or that is how it is, that is inevitably when you write something, it's like in poetry, it, it evokes or it might evoke something that is much bigger and larger than that which was written. And so it speaks to to what we have in common, to what is common. And it's being. 
I think the closest I could get to something I've read before might be Walt Whitman's Song of Myself, which always took me somewhere else. That's fantastic. I think you, yours, your diaries do it more efficiently. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. Just keep writing them. <laughs> so there is, there is a common reality. And this writing or whatever it is that it stands for as I see, it makes available um, what we have in common, but also um, uh, it is a conversation in a common reality. Or something like that. I like that. In many ways, it your talking diary seems like you're talking to your other self in some way. But but not. Oh, I guess I lost my thought. But there is something there that feels like what you're writing like well, it clearly takes me deeper and it probably takes you deeper and I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if it took other people deeper and somewhere in that quietness people will fall into the self. Yeah, that is, that is very well said. And while you were speaking, I, I actually saw this is, which is that, that, um, uh, and the thrust or the, 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 the theme of the writing, the the, uh, the direction of the writing is all about transcending the personal, so to speak. That is to say, to identify that the personal self, in fact, does not exist. It is that is an illusion. It is an appearance that that we we might live. And then we have a story about that. And f for some of us, that is all there is. Or what is what is available beyond the personal self? And I think in the beyond the personal self, that the diaries open up someone uh, reading the diaries might find themselves because it touches on a common reality. I would suspect more than just someone will have that experience. Yeah. I think there are a lot of ones that could experience that. Because in reading your diaries, and I think sometimes even speaking them aloud, it's like you don't even worry about the totality of thought. You're just in it. 
and you fall into self as a result. That was yeah. it. <laughs> now, I do have one thing to say about that, is that um, if this is like poetry, it might open up something extraordinary uh, for someone. Um, what I see is my, my true intention is that it is not just an experience, but actually that it, that it gives someone um, the avenue or, or a pathway to come to their own truth. Right. Not so, not so much their own truth, but to come to what is true, which ultimately is not your truth or my truth, but to, right. to what is true. Right. As which would open up uh, the possibility of living an authentic life, of of just being yourself. And right. I think that's everything. Right. Thank you, John. Yes. See you next week. All right. Bless you. Thank you for listening to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster. For more information, check out louiscoster.com forward slash Talking Diaries and subscribe to the Talking Diaries YouTube channel. Also check out louiscoster.com forward slash quiz and take the free quiz to discover more about yourself.